Oh my god, I'm like your girl out of Whoville. In the Grinch. What's the song out of the Grinch? Grinch is a musical, isn't it? I can't think of any songs out of the Grinch. Reporting to you live from my king size bed. This bed was truly the best decision that we made in this apartment so far. I'm obsessed. I need to change that phone case. I keep losing it. Every time I set it down on a dark surface, she was missing. Anyway, cheers girls. Welcome to the video. Since Owen was in hospital, we've been drinking a wild pile of tea because they made him tea obviously in the morning, afternoon and evening. They came around and offered him tea and he was loving it. So now we drink tea. It wasn't something we'd done regularly. There's a company in Sydney called Taste of Ireland and they do Barry's tea bags. And they sent me out a box a while ago, like it was probably at the end of last year or maybe the start of this year, can't remember. But they sent me out a box and it had like, I think two, or, it was either two or four boxes of Barry's tea. All of them still sitting there, but we're making our way through them now. So delish. My granny also brought me over Punjana tea, so we've literally the house coming down with tea. So I'm glad we started drinking it, but anyway girls, cheers. Welcome back to another video. I really don't know what this video is going to be. It was going to be a bit of a glow up, but I just don't feel like it, babe. I don't feel like it. I don't want to grow up. I kind of do. I'm getting my hair done this evening and I do need to update the nails at some point but yeah I don't really know what the vlog's gonna be. Oh my god I don't think I've told you it's on here yet but I announced it on my Instagram yesterday. I'm the new ambassador for Travel Playground. I'm gonna work with them when I'm in Australia and basically show you guys all the spots and stuff so I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm so excited to work with such a good company like the guy who owns it's called Neil and he's Irish and he basically set up the agency to like help all the Irish ones out and um, this isn't sponsored or anything by the way I'm just letting you know. Yeah he set up an agency so that Irish people could get affordable holidays and trips while they're in Australia. So he does trips in Australia, New Zealand and Asia and also camper vans like up the east coast and stuff which I really would love to do at Christmas if they can sort me out. We're going to start working on that soon. Yeah, I'm their new ambassador. It's probably one of the most exciting things that's happened in terms of like online career, even though I don't necessarily have a career online, but you know, my side quest online, definitely the most exciting thing that's happened. So I'm very chuffed and grateful that they wanted to work with me and we're gonna have a lot of fun. So the reason I bring them up is because I'm actually going on my first day trip. It's not necessarily a day trip, well I suppose it is. Me and Owen are going the Sunrise Kayak on Sunday. You've probably seen other people doing it. It looks so amazing. It's on my list to do when I'm here. So we're going to take that off on Sunday with Travel Playground. They do like a lot of day trips and stuff. They do the whale watching, like things like that as well. They do day trips, which I actually didn't even know they'd done until a couple of weeks ago. I'm like absolutely buzzing. This video isn't sponsored or anything. I just wanted to mention that because it's an exciting thing in my life, but I will put the code in my bio in case you just want to book anything and get 10% off. I don't know what this video is going to be. I'm just going to do a weekly vlog again because we are doing the Sydney kayak so I can take you there and stuff, but it's currently only Wednesday and I'm working today so there's not going to be much going on, but after work I'm getting my hair done so I can take you with me there too. I don't know what this will be. I really would love to glow up. Like I signed up for a free trial with Class Pass because I was like, I'm gonna be flying new apartment. I'm gonna book all the classes. La la la. la. Sorry, my memory card ran out of memory. Oh yeah, book Class Pass. Haven't used it once, girls. Honestly, there was one wobble. One had to go to hospital, and then I, everything just went out the window. Everything was put on pause, and you can't even change your free trial. Like, which I don't understand. If I haven't used my free trial, then why can't I move it or extend it or like keep the credits or whatever? But yeah, I thought class pass would be a good one because I don't really know what I like to do for exercise. Like, I'm not really a big exercise gal, so I thought to figure it out or like to try different things, I would do class pass and go to all the different classes and then decide. Do you know what I mean? Nothing else is new. I'm really enjoying the apartment, like I love it so much. I prefer it so much over my last apartment. It's just so much more open. I love how when there's a nice sunset, you can see it from the bed. What a whirlwind everything's been. I swear, like I could not write what's happened to me the past year 
what's happened to us like it just has been such a shit show and also amazing at times it's just been the most up and down year ever like i hope it doesn't continue being turbulent like i would rather just smooth sailing for even just six months if possible but now we're back in sydney we'll be able to chill and get back into some routine again yay so i could literally curl up in a ball and just go back to sleep anyway i'm gonna get up and get ready for work and start the day but i thought i'd check in with you here i don't i think that's everything really update wise and we'll just get into the video let's start the vlog and don't forget to subscribe last week a lot of you listened to me and you subscribed thank you love that okay subscribe if you love my bedding it's from kmart so subscribe if you like it morning folks i'm getting myself up to go to a sunrise i actually slept last night for the first time in i'd say a week i've been finding it really hard to sleep but we're going to go to sunrise because i got a bit of a sleep last night so i'm wearing my fleece i don't know if i actually need it or not i got my hair done yesterday evening i didn't tell her to put a curler or anything in it because i was literally going to be going to bed so it's definitely fresher it's fresher oh god i'm tired Okay, let's go. I missed most of the color, but it's still really, really pretty. Also, this cliff is giving me like a dizzy head, but it's also so beautiful, what do you say? Okay, it was basically done by the time I got there to be honest there wasn't much crazy color but it was still very beautiful after that got a coffee talked on my Instagram stories for a second and that's why I forgot to update is I'm so sorry about it I'm trying to get into being a bit more active again on my socials oh yeah look how cute my coffee cup was this morning love her I'm contemplating making a coffee again probably shouldn't what i should do is pack my lunch because i'm gonna be late yeah i actually need to pack up right the second okay what am i having tuna pita probably i actually might have enough in here yesterday i just threw like whole packets of things into the lunch box yeah like i haven't put this and i have my tuna and i've got my cheese and red onion at work i have cornflakes up there but i got them literally about a year ago do you think they'd still be okay to eat? No. Right, let's see if these are soft or not. I literally got these like a year ago. Cornflakes, anybody? Oh. So that's a no. I've honestly had them like a year. I'll take some yogurt and some blueberries. I hate yogurt for breakfast. Right. Let's go. I need to put this on at some point. Right. See you later. Good morning. Girls, I didn't speak to you. I'm so sorry. What the frick? I'd say I've been flat out, but I really haven't. I've been working like, but I haven't been that flat out. And I just, I don't know. I haven't been doing anything. And like, I've been very unproductive. And honestly, the reset vlog is coming soon. It's not this week. It is not this week because I have not reset. Also, still not using my class pass. Therefore, I literally have got a free trial for absolutely no reason. I genuinely have not used it. So that's good. I swear, I just need to really like reset and get disciplined. But I don't want to. I just don't want to right now. I really don't. Like, I really don't. I got this new jumper in Ganda clothing. Love her. She's so vintage vibes. I'm only putting her on for a wee second. I'm actually not wearing this today, but I just wanted to try it on. I don't know, I want to keep it for like when I'm doing something, do you know what I mean? But I do love her, isn't she? Just gorgeous. Another jumper I'll just never have off my body. I want to buy all the jumpers in here though. They're so nice. I feel like they're completely my vibe. They're thin. They're not too warm. Like you could throw them on if it was summer, do you know what I mean? You could throw them over, throw them on over like a bikini if you're running down the pool, like that kind of stuff. That's what I like in a, in a sweatshirt. My dry skin was really bad this morning, but I put a bit of aloe vera on it. 
Has that helped? Maybe it hasn't, I don't know. Yeah, we've not really been out much. Oh my God, I know what I need to talk to you about. Everyone cancel their Netflix account right now and get Apple TV instead. When I say the shows on Apple TV are 10 out of 10, I've only watched two, okay? And I've watched Presumed Innocent with Jake Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal, whatever. And I feel like I've spoke to you about this, have I? I feel like I've talked to you. Presumed Innocent and we just finished watching Severance last night, the first season. What way did they end that season? The new season isn't coming out until January 2025 and it's only coming out like released once a week and I'm like, no. It was honestly the best show I've watched in years. Severance. It is so good. It's a 10 out of 10. The Presumed Innocent maybe like an 8 out of 10. Good watch, like still a really enjoyable watch, but Severance has blew my mind. It's kind of like a psychological thriller, would you call it a thriller? Like a psychological drama thriller? I can't explain what it is. It's so good, you just have to watch it. I'm so sad it's over. I wasn't expecting it to be over either. I thought there was one more episode. So I was like rushing to get on to the next episode and I wasn't there. And I was like, I'm okay. I was so high do watching it. Like I was like, oh my own was telling me to wise up and calm down. He enjoyed it as well though, but he was thinking I was being a bit dramatic, but I just felt like, I felt all the feelings. I haven't felt that in a series in a long time. You know, when you're like, <gasps> you know what I mean? When you're so invested. Um, I also haven't been reading girls. Oh, I know that I started off like the Akatar stan and I still am an Akatar stan, but I can't settle myself to read at the minute. Like I am on the Court of, Court of Stardust, Lights and Stardust is it or something? And it's kind of like the small book, the one before the last book. And I don't know, it's very like in between stages, like there's not much happening. And I've only got like a chapter or two in to be fair, but I just can't seem to settle myself down to fully read it. I think secretly though, like a part of me just doesn't want to finish it. Cause if I finish this book, then I'm on the last book and she's a big thick mama, but like, so I really want to get into my reading again. That'll all be in the reset vlog when we're resetting. It'll maybe be next week. We'll see. Uh, hairline is doing my head in, honestly. But anyway, right. I'm gonna go and get some lunch. So that's where we're going now. I'm gonna get some lunch. I might bring my book with me and try and read a chapter while I'm waiting for my food. Cause literally the only parts of this book I've read is when I've been in coffee shops. I haven't sat down and read it in the house yet. I need to clean my reading seat. You know the reading seat I showed you is in the corner. It's like a bit smelly, like it's dusty. Like it's, we got it on Facebook Marketplace so it needs cleaned before I even like sit down and like, read on it. Girls, holy shit, it is full blown summer today. Like warm air, like really warm air. The breeze is even warm. <gasps> I shouldn't have wore a hoodie. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start just wearing t-shirts, girls. Although it's really unpredictable. Like some days there's a bit of a chill in the air. Like this week's been a wee bit chilly. Do you know what I mean? Not today anyway. Jesus, we're gonna get some lunch. I've come into TK Maxx, I'm going to take a look around. All of the Halloween stuff is here. I love it. There's something about TK Maxx that just really hits, you know? Love this. Oh. My apartment again. I sat on my bed doing absolutely nothing for like over an hour. So I need to get this place tidied up because it's literally a mess again. Why is it always a mess? Since I moved in, there's been a bit of a mess at the front door. Like there's a big box of shoes because I'm trying to get a shoe cabinet and I can't find one that's like a dark wood, similar to like this thing. And I can't seem to find one that's the perfect wood, even though it doesn't have to be the perfect wood. Maybe even black wood would be fine. I just need like a darker wood. I don't think a light wood's going to suit because we have a dark cabinet as well here. Sorry about the mess, but 
um, this cabinet's dark, so I want like something dark either side here. Don't know what, where I want it yet, maybe this side to put all the shoes. But it's proven a little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm just gonna put these all away now in this cabinet, even though that's not where I want them to go at all. I'm gonna like just stack them up on the bottom cabinet because they're the box is annoying me. Every time you open the door, it hits the box. It's just annoying. I don't like the look of the box. It's annoying me. I'd rather just get them out of the box and get the box binned. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna do that now. And then I'm gonna put all my clothes away that are in the bedroom because it's a mess. I don't even know how it happens, honestly. I don't even know, okay? Well, I do. I'm a mess and also I have been procrastinating all day. I'm so bad at keeping up with things these days. I'm all over the place. Can you tell? Like, can you actually tell? The past like, six videos, I'm all over the place. <sighs> Help. Okay, side fringe. <laughs> what is going on there? Yeah. How do you even fix it? I don't know, it's a side part. It's fine. It'll do, okay? Because I don't have a middle part. I don't have a nice middle part like some of you bitches out there. Um, and that's okay. Okay, because some of us have wonky hairlines. And what are you trying to say? Okay, sorry, I'm being chaotic, but I'm going to go tidy these boxes. I, I'm not going to show you as me doing it because that's literally the most boring thing I've ever heard in my entire life. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to take one for the team. You just sit back and relax for the next second. I'm going to be busy for about 20 minutes. So... Look at you, okay? Oh, look at me. I'm having a gorgeous, crispy Pepsi Max. You know what I mean by crispy, just been in the fridge for days. It's, she's cold, ice cold. I don't even need ice with it. Put all these clothes away as well. We don't have any TV in here. Hold on, I need to pause her. Yeah, we don't have a TV in this bedroom, which is a bit annoying for me because I like to watch my YouTube and stuff when I chill in bed in the evenings. You're probably like, Neve, get out of bed. Do you know what I mean? Why don't you go for a walk or something or like, whatever but no do you know when you're just chilling and you need to watch youtube or you're cleaning up your room like i am now and you need to put on a bit of youtube distract yourself while you tidy no my two cousins are coming over to visit me in november so i might get them to bring out my projector because i have a projector at home and obviously this is just a white wall so it'd be perfect and the bed has like a ridge that i could set it on like i could set it up in that ridge and i could have a projector that i can link my chromecast to and play youtube on it is that not so smart? That's not a smart idea. Yeah, I want to tidy up, put these shoes away, put these clothes away, and then whatever happens next, who bloody knows. All cleaned. I'm not all cleaned, but the house is. And I will be all cleaned because I'm going to get a big dirty shower. But bedroom's all cleaned. Bed's a bit crinkly because all the stuff was lying on it earlier, but she's looking sweet. I tidied away all the shoes. This is not where I want them to sit at all. I must actually unpack the rest of my books. They're in there behind the chair. We've got like some a mixture of crap in there that needs put away. We haven't got a place for it yet. But the shoes are better there than they were in the box anyway, in my opinion. And then here it's all cleaned as well. Just need to put the dishes all away. It's looking cute. That's the box that the shoes used to be in, all the rubbish is in it now. Now I'm ready to sit down and literally do absolutely nothing for the rest of the evening. So that's my little tidy session done. I'm still drinking this Pepsi, it's warm now. If you know me, you know I'm the slowest drinker. So do you know the way I told you is I was meant to be booked to go on this, the kayaks on Sunday? Did I tell you that? Basically I'm working with Travel Playground and I'm booked to go on the trip on Sunday with Owen to see the sunrise on the kayaks at, Harbor, at the Harbour Bridge. You know the one I'm on about, you know the trip I'm on about, lots of people have done it. Um, they had booked us in, but they had booked us in on a double kayak because there was no singles left. And I had emailed again to be like, could we just get singles? And found out anyway that the weight limit is lower than we are. Like, we're too happy for it. I'm actually mortified. It's actually like the skydive all over again that I tell you is that I had to pay extra for the skydive because of my weight. Yeah, that's on me to be fair. So they're trying to figure out a way to get me on a single kayak or to get us on single kayaks so that we can still do the sunrise on Sunday. But if not, then I'll just do it when I get back. That's fine anyway, it doesn't really matter as long as we get to do it. I'm very excited for it anyway, whenever it's gonna be. But fingers crossed that it can still be this Sunday and it will be in this video. What else is the crack? Earlier on when I went for lunch, my phone battery died, so I didn't get to show you anything else in TK Maxx, but TK Maxx is such a vibe. I'm sorry, but there actually isn't a better shop than TK Maxx.
life of Cameron. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Erin and her sister are coming around, but oh my god, did you see the whales and the dolphins? Well, there was one whale, and it was just chilling out there for ages, and then there was loads of dolphins. It was a beautiful morning, gorgeous. We went for a quick little walk down to get a coffee, and now I'm back in the house. And yeah, how cute was that? It's so warm today, I'm gonna have to give up the sweatshirts. I'm gonna have to get the t-shirts out. It is truly spring, like, it's 20, 23 degrees. It's gorgeous out, it's so warm when the sun hits you. Girls, I'm back in town. Come on, girls. I'm going to TK Maxx and getting some sunglasses. Need sunnies. Because the sun is bright today. She bright. She bright. I love her. What do you think of my new sunnies? Necessary because the sun is out. <laughs> I'm going to meet another friend now. God, I am really meeting up with everybody today. I didn't even tell you, but this morning I was with Cloda, my friend Cloda. Then I met Aaron and Molly. Now I'm meeting Tara. Honest to God, you don't see anybody for ages and then you see everybody at once. That's literally how it is here. But I need to go right now because I'm meeting Tara in 15 minutes and I need to drive there. So I'll probably also get a bit of lunch because I haven't ate anything yet. And it's, I can't believe it's only 12 o'clock in the day. Sunrises literally change your life. They give you so much more time in the day. It's obvious, and I'll show you what I eat. If I eat anything, I probably will. I'll have to eat something. Tara's here. Hi guys. You're my third friend that I've seen today. Oh, oh. hi. Socially, All right. Tara's is up. I'd be socially dead by now. It's 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> what a day. The day's over. I had a nap there for literally two hours, and it was the deepest nap ever. There's something about a nice deep nap. Do you know when you wake up from a nap and you're so refreshed? That was the vibe and that very rarely happens like sometimes i'll wake myself out of a nap too early or too late and then you feel all groggy and you don't know where you're at and all hopefully i can still sleep tonight my sleep has been horrendous i can't fall asleep when i get to sleep it's a deep sleep like i won't even wake up with alarms i'm in a deep sleep when i sleep but it's taken me like i would say three hours to fall asleep and i do keep lifting my phone but it's because my head will not stop thinking of things like I'm literally thinking about everything just random things that I can't settle until I find out an answer to so I'll like google it and then I'll be on my phone for like 15 minutes and then I'll be like no stop put the phone down it's just a cycle it's probably got something to do with having no routines uh, I don't have any kind of nighttime routine at the minute I haven't been doing my reading I haven't been doing the things that kind of prepare me for sleep like I've just been on my phone up until I sleep and then I put my phone down and obviously that's why the thoughts are wild because I'm just after being on my phone. But I want to show you what I got today. So I showed you my sunglasses, they're key. They're very cute, they're only $30. I just love TK Maxx so much. They're so cute, like, oh my God, I just had to delete footage there because I was running out of memory and it was footage of me in the house. The house was seven people and actual trauma. I'm being dramatic, but like, oh my God, bad times mentally. Other things I got, Carolina Herrera, stocked up on her. I haven't had her in about a year. I didn't get it for Christmas. Normally I would get it for Christmas. If I was at home, somebody would buy me this, but I wasn't at home, so it was different this year, you know. But I purchased it myself because I'm sick of not having perfume. There's no crack. Teeth whitening strips, Oral-B. I do have high smile ones left and they're in the bathroom, but I don't feel like they're hitting the same. So I'm gonna put these on tonight because I really wanna whiten my teeth. My friend Tara that I met today, she got her teeth whitened um, somewhere in Sydney. I can't remember the name of the place, but it sparked like this thing in me about my teeth. Like I, do you know when you're just not prioritizing appearance and you just forget about all these things? Like, I don't know, now I'm starting to be more relaxed. I'm starting to want to do wee nice things for myself again. Teeth whitening is, is one of them, so these I'll have to do for now because I'm not going to get my teeth like professionally whitened just yet. And now it's Saturday night. We're not doing the thing tomorrow, the sunrise kayaks. So I'm just postponing. I haven't booked a new date yet, but we will. I am still going for, I got invited to try a Sunday roast in ESQ. I don't know if it's ESQ or ESQ. 
I think it's ASQ in the city. So we're going to go in there tomorrow for Sunday roast at 12. I'll probably be doing a TikTok for the Sunday roast as well because it is gifted. So if it's nice, I'll be definitely posting about it. I don't know if I really did much this week. I mean, there was a couple of sunrises. Nice enough vibes, very chilled. Like I didn't really do anything productive. I w This was supposed to be my getting on track productive video. That will be coming soon. I'm just not there yet. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please feel free to subscribe. I know I was talking to you last week about how only 50% of you are subscribed. Read. Uh, but a lot of you have listened and you are subscribing and I love you so much for all the support. It actually means the world and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, have a great week and have a good Sunday. I love you, love you, love you lots.